Hello, I'm Stephanie Rothstein. I'm a Google certified coach, trainer, innovator, and GEG leader from San Jose, California. I'm going to answer, how do I engage students in their learning, which relates to communication in Google Classroom. As educators, engaging students and building connections can pose a real challenge. In this video, I will share best strategies for student involvement, including ways to encourage students to turn in work and methods to connect with learners. When students enter your classroom, having a welcoming classroom banner helps students connect. Altering the banner by unit or topic is a great way to keep students interested visually in your Google Classroom and help them stay focused on your current tasks. Students may not turn in work for a variety of reasons, like not understanding the content or not knowing the deadline. Some ways to encourage students to turn in work include, but are not limited to, playful competitions, consistent expectations, and positive reinforcement. To show consistent expectations, clarity in assignments and deadlines can be very helpful. In classwork, having a particular day that work is assigned and due, along with clarity and written instructions, is key. Using a bulleted and focused list in instructions with emojis that exemplify the bullet helps students visually understand expectations. For example, I use a light bulb next to instructions about ideas and a calendar next to instructions that have to do with a deadline. One way to use positive reinforcement is to use the classwork section to organize the walls of your classroom. Post a slide that showcases student work, and you can continue to update this slide over a unit, a grading period, assignment, or a project. Having it here in classwork is going to help you keep it well organized. In order to do this, you can upload a slide by going to classwork, then create, and clicking material. I simply typed in wow work and then I added a slide that I already had in Drive. You can also create it directly here. Then I click post. Make sure that your slide is set to view only. We mustn't forget that students thrive when they can connect with each other through collaboration and communication. There are a multitude of methods to connect with learners. When you are asynchronous, connecting over email is an excellent way to stay present and answer questions. For synchronous connecting on a Meet call that can be found directly here in your Google Classroom allows teachers and students to conveniently connect. To help me connect with students and help them connect with each other, I use the stream for class discussions. I like to set my stream to allow students to comment only on posts, because this allows me as the teacher to set up questions and topics and have a focused area for discussion. You can adjust this by going to the gear icon on the top right and adjust this under class details and general and stream and set this to students can only comment. Then students can comment on the post and on one another's posts. Now we know what to do when needing to engage students in their learning. We learned ways to encourage students to turn in work and methods to connect with learners. Thank you so much for joining. Be sure to watch the other videos in this series.